How's it going everyone? Welcome to Rad's another match vlog today. Of course it is Wolves at home for Forest in this one. Not going to be an easy game. They had a very bad result last week. They've lost both their games. We've had a, well, fantastic start to the season. Really a great win at Southampton last week. A frustrating draw in the end against Bournemouth, but certainly positives to take even in the cup against Newcastle. We may have gone out, but a lot of good things to take. It was deadline day yesterday and we did some brilliant business bringing in James Ward-Prowse and Morato. Um, honestly, the transfer business alone is enough to be excited by and I think we said that last year but the Saints to really be uh, commended this season. Today's going to be tough I think. We've drawn every game v Wolves minus one and we lost that one at Molyneux. So it's always been a pretty close game against them so I think we drew a win honestly and I think now more than ever it's probably the best time we can get one so I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get a result. Please like and subscribe to Rads up the Reds. So we've got Dave here. All right, so Dad. Yes. All right, Toby. Hello. How are you sitting going today? All right, so I've got Elliot here. Again. Again. <laughs> I think the key thing going into this match is what happened to Wolverhampton Wonders last sat uh, Saturday, Sunday, sorry. They lost 6-2 and they will be absolutely desperate for that not to happen. I think Wolves will come here. Gary O'Neill will set them up to frustrate us, knowing how kind of positively we played at Southampton. Well, it's going to be a tricky one, isn't it? I mean, Wolves are a very good side. Don't underestimate them. I think we can win this. Mm. I am going to go 2-1 Nottingham Forest. Well, I'm thinking to win. I'm looking forward to it. I know I know we lost on Wednesday, but from what I saw, the attacking football we played and how we played, I'm very confident. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go 2-1 Forest. And with the signing of War Prowse as well, yeah. and plus other signings as well, but particularly War Prowse, you know, Ward Prowse. So I'm just excited. No, he won't, he won't play today, but when yeah. he, you, play, you play next time. I'd love to win this, really. It would be, it'd be an absolute pleasure. So uh, let's go out there. I'm very happy with the signings. Obviously, with Ward Prowse coming in. Yeah. Obviously, he's not available today. But um, yeah, things are running up. It looks like we're cementing our place in the Premier League now. You know, we've had two seasons where we've played low block and we've been the team you know, sort of critically trying to stay in the match. Now maybe teams are going to try and do the same to us. But behind me, David. Yes. This is my church. This is where I heal my hurt. Because tonight, no, this afternoon, God is JWP. Oh yes. Come on, you Reds. I'm going now. Yeah. yeah. We, we, we've got good morale. I know Wolves are coming off a loss, but that, they, that, obviously they won't, they won't allow that again. But we're coming, off, we're coming off strong with the signings and the team we've got at the moment. I'm confident we'll get a win out of this one. Mm. Come on, you Reds. Up the Reds. Up the Reds. Okay, today's fact is the very first winner of the prize for honest book title of the year was Proceedings of the Second International Workshop on Nude Mice. That is... I see why you needed to read that out. Have you read it? I've not. You know, shockingly, I'm not. I might, I might put it on my reading list. But... Well, there you go. Everyone. Did you know that? <laughs> I certainly didn't. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody's read the books. But... Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Of the Reds. Of the Reds. There's quite a large amount of me thinks it's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw or a 0-0 nil -nil draw or something like that. But my heart says Forrest is going to win 1-0. You know, maybe we've had a good transfer window. We've just been talking about that. Yep. I think we both agree it's been a really sensible, yeah, well agree. thought out transfer window. But it's going to be... Uh, a grit your teeth grind of a match, I think, David, to be honest. I agree. Answer the question. I didn't think I'd see that sort of signing at this club anytime soon. Yeah. Oh. 
got him. We took it. It's not a minute late. Well, that caught everyone out. Me included because they didn't get it on time. Some goal, but that's not good game management from us again. I'm feeling straight off. Must have been a minute later. I may have been an immediate equaliser. Good goal for sure, but. Progress, I think, to have five points at this stage of the season. 
But overall, so they definitely uh, have more for all we know, you know. A little bit better in these two home games. But it's, it's, it's promising regardless. Um, a little break now, of course, the internationals. We're just trying to work on a few things. Set pieces still need to be better, even though we scored from one. Too many balls just not meeting the first man. Um, hopefully, though, James Will Class can, can help us with that. If you have enjoyed this vlog, Berg, already, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yes, uh, there'll be content over the international break, and then it's Liverpool away. Thank you for watching, everybody. Oh,